Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. I heard them before I saw them, swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes, black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. 
I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. Do listeners know I'm, I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. Makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am, and it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walkies. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rough one in the undergrowth as we walked after it, and I couldn't find it. Probably. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs into Toby, they can grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly dog? <laughs> Toby loves people. Usually he comes back, but when we were pretty far from home, and it sounds like he went pretty wild there. Great dog, but he's just too dumb for his own good. <laughs> well, Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thanks, Pat. You have a good night now. First, I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. <laughs> 